One thing that's constant in the PPC industry is that things are always changing. Even when they're not really changing, things are still changing. And this video is an example of one of those times. Google recently announced that they are getting rid of target CPA and target ROAS bidding strategies. And if you hear just that headline, you might be a little bit concerned that you're losing a valuable tool in your account. But what's actually happening is that Google is just moving the functionality of those bidding strategies. They're no longer going to be standalone. They're going to be rolled into existing bid strategies elsewhere as an additional setting. So in this video, I want to walk you through how you'll be able to set up target CPA and target ROAS bidding strategies moving forward. And we're going to revisit just a couple best practices for those bidding strategies from a previous video. One thing to clarify before we go further in this video is that all of the changes that I'm going to discuss today are going to be rolled out at the individual campaign bid strategy level. You can use these types of bidding strategies for portfolio level bidding strategies, but those are not going to be updated until the coming months or year or something like that. There's not a firm deadline. If you want to learn more about Google Ads portfolio bidding strategies, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to talk about individual campaign level level bidding strategies. Since these settings live at the campaign level, I'm just going to choose one of the campaigns I have in this account. We'll head over to the settings tab and then in settings, we'll open up the bidding section. And here's where we're going to spend the bulk of the time for right now. Currently the campaign is set up on manual CPC, but if we want to change the bid strategy, we just need to come in and click change strategy. Now we can adjust our bidding strategies one of two ways. You can either use the get guidance selecting a bid strategy, which we'll go through in a second, or you can choose simply from the drop down above where you have all of the bidding strategies that will auto populate. In this list and for the time period right now, we still have the option to utilize target CPA and target ROAS as individual bid strategies, but over time this will go away. The new options are actually going to live under maximize conversions and maximize conversion value. So let's take the example of target CPA first and show how we would set that up. In a typical target CPA bid strategy, you would simply click on that option, you'll set the target CPA and your campaign is off to the races. With the updated formatting moving forward, you'll actually choose maximize conversions. And then here you'll see that there is a checkbox that will allow you to set a target cost per action and it's optional. So if you open this up, it'll still opt into the suggested target CPA and it'll look relatively similar to what it looks like when you set a target CPA strategy by itself. So effectively, rather than creating a target CPA bid strategy, moving forward the functionality is that you will choose maximize conversions and then set an optional target CPA. Overall, all of the functionality will be the same as target CPA. It just lives in a slightly different spot. If you're utilizing retarget turn on ad spend bidding strategies, the process is relatively similar. Instead of coming in and choosing the target row as number and then adding in your percent as you would for a normal target row as bid strategy, we'll now utilize the maximize conversion value bidding strategy instead. And just like the maximize conversion strategy, there'll be a checkbox down here where you can set an optional target return on ad spend. So the functionality will be the same. You check the box and then you add in the percent row as that you want Google to optimize your campaigns for exactly the same way you would for a target return on ad spend bidding strategy. I did mention that there's a second way to set up these bidding strategies and that's utilizing the guidance rather than choosing directly from the bidding strategy name. So let's just take a quick look at what that looks like. Once I click that link, now you'll see that it's opted me into something that looks very similar for target ROAS. I want to focus on conversion value and then I still have the checkbox here to set a target return on ad spend. So if you're not comfortable choosing directly from the naming convention of maximize conversion value, then target ROAS, there is a slightly different way to do it. Additionally, if you want to utilize the target CPA bidding strategy, you would optimize for conversions. And here you'll have the checkbox that'll allow you to set a target CPA for your campaign. Overall, these changes are relatively minimal and Google does very much want to clarify that this is simply a reorganization of existing bidding functionality. These are not going to be completely unique bidding strategies that are being rolled out. These are going to have the same functionality that we've utilized in the past. 
Additionally, when these changes roll out, if you have campaigns that are set up on the legacy target CPA or target ROAS bidding strategies, at this moment in time, Google is saying that you will not have to make any changes to your campaigns. They will simply be opted into the new structure under maximize conversions or maximize conversion value with the same target CPA or target row as that you already have set. So this isn't something where you need to go make a lot of different changes to your campaigns like maybe you would with the match type changes that Google announced this year. If you don't know what that is, check out the video in the top of the screen right now because that is something you probably need to take action on. But these you shouldn't have to. These should automatically roll you into the new structure and everything should roll over seamlessly and you shouldn't notice any interruption. For the last portion of this video, I want to give you a quick recap on how these are being reorganized, show you what they're going to look like in the interface if you're not already seeing it, and then just revisit a couple of best practices around target CPA and target ROAS bidding. Here's a table from Google that outlines the different performance goals, the old bidding strategy, and the updated bidding strategy for you to be able to keep them straight. If you're still trying to maximize conversions within a set budget, they suggest utilizing maximize conversions. My opinions on that are for a different video, but then you'll see that the updated bid strategy is maximize conversions, no target CPA. But if you do want to use a target CPA for the second line, maximizing conversions to that target CPA, originally you would use target CPA, and now you're going to use maximize conversions with a target CPA restriction in place. Same thing with target return on ad spend. If you don't have a target return on ad spend specified, you'll still use the maximize conversion value bidding strategy. But if you do have a specific benchmark that you wanna hit, your old campaign strategy would have been target ROAS, now it's going to be maximize conversion value using a target row as goal. When it comes to the naming convention in the platform, things are going to look a little bit different than they have in the past. Here's another image from that Google ads announcement post that'll show you the bid strategy column over here to the right, what it will look like moving forward. This has some intermixed examples here. The top two lines are what the bid strategy type will look like moving forward. And then you see that there is a target CPA and target row as there in the middle. Those are going to be the older versions. But as things move forward, you will start to see that your bid strategy type will no longer just say target CPA or target row as. It'll be a maximized conversion value with a target row as or a maximized conversions with target CPA in brackets. The thing that's not quite clear to me is if long term they're going to always have it look like this because that just quite frankly seems like a lot of words to have in one column. But my guess is since they're showing this example, after they sunset target CPA and target row as bidding strategies as individual strategies, we probably will have to see this full name of maximize conversion value target row as whatever. It's going to look a little bit clunky, but now you'll be able to see what it looks like moving forward. We do have a video that goes over all of the Google Ads bidding strategies and gives you lots of different insights on those, and you can check that out on the top of the screen right now. But just for sake of revisiting on this topic, I did want to give just quick considerations around target CPA and target ROAS. Target CPA specifically works best when you have lots of conversion data and you need to control your CPAs. If you don't have a lot of conversion data, Google doesn't have many success points to gauge its performance on, and it ends up feeling like it's not getting the returns, and it usually stops serving and just won't hit the target cost per conversion you have in place. Additionally, target CPA, even when you do have lots of volume coming through and you're hitting the numbers that you want, in my experience and what I've heard from others is that it does limit your volume. It's not necessarily a lot, maybe 10 to 30%, but you do see lower volume than you would using a different bidding strategy. So if you are thinking about using target CPA, that's something you'll need to keep in mind. For target ROAS, the volume limitation is also a consideration. It's easier for Google to be more conservative and serve only to people that it feels more confident will convert at your goal ROAS or CPA than it is for it to take some chances and go outside of that. So you'll probably see volume be a little bit limited, but it can work really well, again, if you have lots of conversion data, if you need to control your returns, and if you have differing values based on each conversion. So it's really helpful to find the right return on ad spend where some conversions are worth a small amount and other conversions are worth a large amount. It really helps balance those out over time. Just revisiting this one last time, 
The headlines that you see about target CPA and target ROAS going away probably seem a little bit scary and a little bit sensational. In reality, all Google is doing is reorganizing how their existing functionality works. I might not like it because I feel like these are going to be a little bit more hidden and advertisers without as much experience might not know that they're here because it's not as explicit, but they didn't ask me. It's not my call. The good news is that we still have the ability to set target CPA and target ROAS bidding strategies for our campaign campaigns and take advantage of the functionality that we've been enjoying for years. If you have any specific thoughts on these changes, or if you've seen some really good success with either Target CPA or Target ROAS, or even if you've already started opting your campaigns into the max conversions with the limitations set in place, I would love to hear about your experience or any other questions that you have in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.